hello and welcome to the channel hope you're having a fantastic day today i'm actually covering a stock that went up 209 percent within three hours of time span and we're going to find out what's happening with the stock it's a pharmaceutical stock it just took off today and i'm going to find out whether there's still opportunity here or do we miss the boat right so before i get into the technical analysis if you're new to the channel uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. I release it every day and my object objective here is not to just cover the chart part of it But also cover the other aspect of the stock of the company itself You know because at the end of the day if you want to be able to make money You should be able to understand the company somewhat understand uh, on the back end of the company to be able to understand when the catalyst come out What's going to happen to the stock, right? Um, so so let's talk about that before I get into the actual chart analysis I'm going to talk about the company what the company is and what happened to the news today, which broke out so basically what happened is they're working on a drug for COVID-19, which is not the vaccine, but the drug that would you orally will take or however you want to, you know, however they will inject it. It would be if you're in a hospital, uh, you know, and they give you that drug, what what are the chances of you uh, making it, you know, me surviving that COVID situation? So they said the, the early phase three results came out and the 50, it reduced death by 55 percent, which is a good news. Right. So that that sort of drove the whole um, stock for this. Uh, upward because look at the end of the day if they have a successful drug that can meet that can potentially save life you will have governments buy these drugs from them okay and they will increase their cash flow their net balances and all that stuff right as far as their other um, uh, drugs are concerned they have other programs as well like breast cancer prost prostate cancer and there are different phases as well and i laid them out here you go to their website vero uh, inc.com and they could actually um you know have this pipeline there and you can actually download it and see their individual uh you know what they uh benefiting and how how they're going to affect the market etc cetera, etc cetera. so as far as the market cap is concerned for the stock is a uh, 1.77 billion dollar company uh it's a fairly medium company right now and uh, on an average the stock that are shared for this company is 100, 100, 906,000 nine hundred six thousand but today within three hours they actually did 219 million shares were traded for this company as they were rising uh to that level for the institutional banks which are the big companies like big investment firm morgan stanley chase bank you know vanguard all these big companies right one of them uh 62 of them increased their position by 1.6 million 54 of them sold out of their position and uh the owner the total ownership they have is 29.15 percent okay so they have good amount of shares uh in their possession and their analysts, like these companies that are listed here, these are the analysts that that did the analysis on stock. And again, th this analyst may not be very current. Uh, it could have been like a month ago or two months ago, whatever the case is. They think the lowest stock would get to is $21, which we already know the stock was at $9, which I'm going to go through in a minute. And average price, they think, is 25 and the 29 is, is the highest. But I think that's going to change how the, the drug thing is going to come out with COVID and all that. So... So for the balance sheet, anything you see here, you got to times that with 1,000. So 178,000 becomes 178 million, um, and that's their total asset for 2021. And the total liabilities they had about 25 million, and um, the net equity they have about 152 million. So the balance sheet doesn't look that bad as far as the cash flow is concerned. Um, operations for 2021 is 15 negative 15 million, which means their operations um, has not been successful in, in terms of making cash. Uh, they weren't they weren't able to produce a lot of cash and now cash flow is, is generally important because of the liquidation and they have raised about um as far as expenses are concerned they didn't have a lot of expenses investing cash flow so they didn't really invest much so they actually gained about 14 million there uh and their end cash flow end position is about 109 million so free cash flow they don't have any uh which means if they have any cash flow sitting around without any liabilities but they don't have any they actually are in negative right now for the free cash flow as for the short interest is concerned they have about 5.42 percent which is like people shorting the stock thinking that stock is going to go down again they will sell it they will borrow it from the broker they will sell the stock and then when the stock falls they will buy it again and and, and you know repay the um, you know uh, buy it again at a lower price and and you know get their uh, shares right so as far as the uh, short is concerned, it's about 5.42%, which is relatively low. Uh, anything above 20, it's insane. So that that's the stock, very volatile. You want to stay away from it because that's not organic. That's like people boosting up the price to get you think that the stock is going to go up and eventually uh, buying it back when the stock falls. Okay, and they start selling the stock as well. So, okay. Uh, so 6.7 days to cover the, um, the short, which is fine. Uh, let's look at the stock right now, right? Okay. 
Now, the stock was started off at around, you know, it was $4.34. It kicks off when uh, pre-market the stock was, you know, people were already capturing the stock, a lot of investors, and, and the stock had gone all the way down, all the way up to $14.57. Now, I do have a Fibonacci retracement here, and the stock did fall a little bit uh, at this point, and it went down to 38.2%. And now it's bouncing back up and it's going back up again. I do have a heart uh, a support right here. This, this was established in November, which is around uh, $9.98. There's a possibility and go back to, uh, you know, the $14 mark. But that $14 mark, uh, we'll see if this becomes a, a true resistance or, or not. Uh, I think it looks like it's, it, it probably will be coming another resistance here. But there's a resistance at $15 that was established a few months ago. So if, let's say, it started rising again, it could cross that $14. It could potentially go to $15. Now, looking at the stock, I'm on a current live stock right now and i was monitoring the stock since 12 12 12 o'clock uh, and the stock is is basically bouncing back up now from 38 point now there's other indicators i could tell you how the stock is performing for example rsi the relative strength index is telling me the stock is still on an uptrend because it's above 50 anything above 50 means the stock on an uptrend and also the moving average conversion diversion which is macd is the brown line in my case and it's looking looking like it's going to cross the uh, signal line if it crosses the signal line that's an indicator the stock is in an upward trend now and uh, uh, the other thing that we could see is there's, there's an ema i added an ema as well exponential moving average uh which you know if you have a, a so i'm going to add a simple moving average as well generally that also helps as well so sim simple moving average, the difference between both of them is that uh, moving average, simple moving average is basically takes a price uh, from the last period. Let's say if I say five minutes, it'll take the candles from the last five minutes, divide, it, divide the price and give you an average price. And EMA will take the very recent um, candles and it would consider that as a, it would, it would consider the price heavily than the last uh, few candles. Okay. In that case, uh, so simple moving average is saying that you know the stock is slightly bending down a little bit. However, we'll have to see. Um, and I th I think this stock is the way it's bending down. You could potentially see this stock. Yeah, it's like sort of curving, and I have a feeling that it might either get rejected from the twelve dollar forty seven cents and go down again, or it could cross that resistance and it potentially go back to thirteen dollars or fourteen dollars. Now, where's the opportunity here? The opportunity is this, right? Uh, they are in phase three right now. Okay, they haven't. They haven't like they haven't came out with it like they said. Oh, everything is good. I see it's crossing that over now while we're on a live chat. So it looks like it might cross over and go up above that twelve dollars eighty two cents again. Now I would I would definitely add this to watch this right now. So it looks like the stock is crossing over as we were speaking, and um, you know that goes to show that there's a possibility that stock might rise and go back to fourteen dollars. But look. I would add this stock to watch list right now. They have not come out with a. They have not come out with their um, drug. This is just a phase three. They showed positive sign. Eventually, when they wrap everything up, will start selling the drug. That's where you know the, you could see a lot of gain on the stock. Now, nobody could predict the future. Nobody could predict the price. This is all indicators to me. This is my opinion and not a financial advice. I would definitely add this to watch list and and see how this company does overall if you're looking to pick up some shares i'm saying you know just make your own decision um the way i'm going to play this probably is pick up a few shares if it comes down again and then hold it and see how they come out with the phase three final uh you know final uh findings and then if they happen to be selling this drug and then we could potentially see the stock going to maybe 20 25 dollars as the analysts were saying but again none of this is financial advice just me just giving you the facts and you can make your own decision so hope you like this video if you're new to the channel please do subscribe to the channel i release video every day and the objective here is to get you guys all the information we can and be able to help each other out so thank you talk to you guys